Excel VBA can do some great work for you. Say you have a simple listing of records and you want to show only the people from the location Boston. I made a subroutine that I give the shortcut Control Shift H and it will select whatever you had selected and tell you how many records it found. And then it will ask you, do you want to unhide those rows once you have seen them? So if I do something similar for uh, departments, Control Shift H, it will show me only the planning people. It's a very quick way of filtering in your record set. How can we do this in VBA? Fortunately, VBA has a great tool that is called the current region. The current region runs from an empty row above to an empty row below, empty column to the left and an empty column to the right. That current region object in VBA knows how many rows we have and how many columns we have. So let's go to VBA Alt F11, insert a new module inside your VBA screen and I call it hide rows. I declared four variables, mostly of the long type, and we are going to talk to the current region of the active cell. The active cell is the cell you happen to be in. That's the cell you had selected and that you want to filter for in this case. So we find out how many rows the current region have, and we store that in the variable r of the long type, dot rows dot count. Make sure you type the dot before row so it takes off the with statement. Otherwise it will count all the rows on your sheet. Then we find out in which column the active cell is. Active cell dot column. This assumes, by the way, that your database starts in A1. We will fix that later. Then we loop through all the rows starting in row 2 because the first row has probably labels or headers. If not, you have to fix that. And then we check in all the cells through this loop that are in row I, first in row 2, column 4, if you had clicked in column 4. If that is not the same as what the active cell is, then you hide the entire row of that cell. Else, we are going to count how many we are not hiding. In other words, how many records do we have? So I use I count as a long. I count starts at zero. So in the first else case, it will be zero plus one is one, and then it will be two and three. So it keeps track of how many records we have. <laughs> we close the if statement. We close the for loop. And we tell the user how many records were found. And then finally, you probably want to ask, do you want to unhide the rows? If they say yes, then we make the entire row of all the current region cells, rows, hidden faults, end with, end sub. And this is what I showed before. It should do the, the job perfectly. As we showed before, if you want the people from Cambridge, Control Shift H. Three records. However, if your database does not start in A1, we have a problem. If we want all the Bostonians here, Control Shift H, we don't get the correct result. Why not? Because it finds the column of the active cell, and that is in this case column G, but that is not, that is column 2, 4, 6, 7, but that is not 7 in the current region. So we have to fix our code. It's a very simple step. All we have to do is change this part into minus that section. So I'm going to insert that here. 
that should be the correct one. So we subtract it. The column number of the beginning of the database dot range A1, that's the first cell in the current region, that column number plus one, and we subtract that from the active cell column number. So now height rows should be able to do this also when it's not in A1 as a starting cell. Control shift H will give you perfectly all the Bostonian records. And it should do the same, of course, for any other field. Why is this all possible? Because of the current region. If I use control 6, it will give me that shape back. Control 6 is a nice shortcut to get rid of charts and shapes if you don't want to see them. This is just a very simple case of using VBA. I, I hope I showed you how powerful VBA is. And I hope I gave you a little appetite for its power that you want to use. So I created several CD-ROMs, three actually, and two books that help you more and more to get familiar with Excel and to see its enormous power, especially when it comes to VBA. You can find this at genesispc.com.